create Clavio subscriber from element of form submission automatically. So whenever the form is submitted by a user via element of form, I'll show you how to automatically create a subscriber in Clavio email marketing platform. In this way, you do not have to manually export the form submission data and import here again and again. And not just element of form and Clavio, you can connect different form builder software like Google Forms, Type Form with different email marketing application like MailChimp or Active Campaign and automate this same process. Want to learn how you can also do that? Come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is a basic inquiry form I have created using Elementor Forms and I am going to sync the form submission data with Clevio email marketing platform. But to do that, firstly I will have to build an integration in these two applications which I will do with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing integration and automation software. Yes, using this software I am going to connect the applications and automate my task. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in here. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So I have directly pasted the name as create Clevio subscriber from Elementor form submission. Now it is asking to select the folder. So I am selecting this main workflow folder, clicking on create and after after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that whenever any new form is submitted in this element of form okay so let me select the same application so i want that the same person should be created as a subscriber in Clevio email marketing application. Okay, so I'm selecting the same. But in place of Clevio, you can also sync the same form submission data even with active campaign email marketing, even in MailChimp email marketing, or you can select the application of your choice. Okay, currently I'll go with the same that is this Clevio. Okay, and again in place of Elementor form, also you can go with other form builder software. All you need to do is to select your favorite application application. Further, you can click on this plus icon and add as many as action step as you want and automate your complex business processes. Okay. And now the idea is I will be connecting these two applications one by one with the Pabli Connect. Okay. So let us first connect element of form with the Pabli Connect. So, so firstly, I'll be selecting the trigger even that is this new form submission. You can also read the instruction triggers when a new form is submitted. So yes, I want to perform the same. And as soon as I have selected the trigger it has provided me a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so with the help of this url only we are going to build this connection so simply copy this webhook url and now what you have to do well everything is mentioned here kindly follow these instructions one by one okay so currently i am going back to the elementor form and first of all i am going to edit this form again with elementor only and then i will be pasting this webhook url in my form so that whenever a new form submission is received that form submission data will be sent to my webhook url and that webhook url has provided via public connect so of course the data will be captured via public connect only for which it is already waiting for the webhook response okay so this is my elementor page first of all i will be selecting this form and as soon as i do that my form will be open up from here okay scroll down and you will find the option of actions after submit okay so once the form is submitted what should be the action performed okay so i will be selecting this arrow button and here you will have to search for the webhook okay click on this plus icon and search for the webhook all right let me show you how you can do that okay so i have selected the same and as soon as you do that this webhook option will start visible here also let me first remove the existing webhook url and now i will be pasting this url which i 
आई हैव जस्ट गॉट वाया पब्लिक कनेक्ट सो आई हैव पेस्टेड द सेम क्लिकिंग ऑन अपडेट एंड इन दिस वे माय वेब बुक यू आर एल विल बी सेव्ड हियर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रीव्यू दिस पेज प्रीव्यू दिस फॉर्म एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई विल मेक अ डमी सबमिशन एंड यू विल सी हाउ द सेम फॉर्म सबमिशन डेटा विल बी रिसीव्ड वाया पब्लिक कनेक्ट ओके सो लेट मी प्रोवाइड सम रैंडम नेम समथिंग लाइक डेमो एडिंग द लास्ट नेम एज यूजर डेमो यूजर एट pablitudes.com for the it is asking for the phone number before that i should correct my email address asking for the phone number so again i will add a dummy 10 digit phone number okay so i have added the same number of days to travel is 4 okay and number of people to travel is 2 okay clicking on this inquire button and as soon as the submission is successful in my element of form you will notice that the response will be received and that response will consist of all the form submitted information basically the user information okay so here we have the name of the form that is the travel form here we also have the form id the number of people to travel number of days to travel we also have this phone number last name first name and email address okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between element of form and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will submit this form the detail of that person will be captured via pably connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now finally we have the user data so we are going to add the same user as a subscriber in this clevio email marketing platform okay so let me select the action even that is add a subscriber with the basic details because i have collected the basic information only from my form okay clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the public api key and this private api key how you can get this you can find the above details by login in to your clevio account and after that click on account and then settings and this api key so either you can directly click on this hyperlink and now i'll take you to the dashboard of my clevio software all right clicking on this settings option for the i'll be selecting for the api option i'll be searching for the api option okay so give me a second i'll show you everything step by step All right so this is the option of API and here I have this public API key let me copy and paste the same here also asking for the private key so you can find the same from here so here you can notice several keys are already generated so instead of going to create a new private key i will copy some existing private key okay so let me paste the same clicking on save and in this way my clevio account will be also connected with pably connect and so we are connected here you can notice whatever the email list are already available in my clevio account have started visible here let me even show you the same this is the list and segment section of my clevio software and here you can notice i have several email list the name of these email list is webinar registrants email parser google sheet shopify customer raise up integration and this new subscriber and you can find the same email list here okay so how about i select this new subscriber email list okay and currently i have two subscribers two members available in this list okay now i am about to add one more person here asking for the email first name and last name remember we have selected the basic details here all right so that is why it is asking for the basic details only okay and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy the email address of the above details from the above details and paste below again and again i am going to map these details which will replace this detail automatically when our automation will work in real time okay so how you can perform mapping click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down search for your data and simply select that data and in this way it will be mapped successfully okay so in the same way i am going to map the details in other two fields also now i am repeating this thing once again that whatever the details we are mapping here from the drop down these details will be replaced automatically 
when our automation will work in real time okay but if i will specify any detail manually here that detail will remain same it will not be changed okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation so i have clicked on that button a response is received going back to my clevio email marketing software and checking for the number of subscriber whether this particular person has been created as a subscriber as a member or not okay well the person has not added yet i will have to check what is wrong with my automation well yes i have got this blank response i'll have to check the details all right here it is clearly mentioned that for double opt in list a confirmation email will be sent to the subscriber when this workflow runs and for a single opt in list subscribers will be added immediately so what i am assuming here is this specific list is actually a double opt in list so what i'll have to do is Is, i'll have to first confirm my email but this is just a dummy email address so i cannot actually do the same so how about i change my email list because my objective is just to show you how you can automatically create the subscriber i am taking the example with the dummy data you can proceed with the real data okay i hope you will understand everything and here you can notice this time response is received and it is a positive response and currently i have added the member in this e email parser list okay so let me refresh it and then i will check whether this person has been created as a subscriber uh, in clevio email marketing software or not okay give me a second let me open the same and here you can notice the same person with the same first name same last name and same email address has been created as a subscriber as a member in clevio email marketing software So in this way, with the help of Pabli Connect, you can simply connect these two application and automate your task. Okay, and you just need to create this automation workflow inside Pabli Connect once, and after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the task in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually. You can simply close Pabli Connect. Okay, and just in case if you want to access this automation workflow inside your Pabli Connect account, I will also tell. the link of my automation workflow into the description box so click on this link sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to auto to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video